Hey, what's up? Pete Solving Node here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a very simple animation using GIMP. Now, it's not that easy, however, it is possible. To start off, we're going to create a new image. Choose whatever resolution you want your uh, animation to be. Basically, the way this works is each layer is a frame. So, we're going to start with frame run 1, and I'm just going to make a simple animation of an expanding ball. Why not? And uh, then for frame 2, we'll just duplicate uh, our default layer, and then we'll make another, we'll make the ball a little bit bigger. And uh, just do that for every frame you want. Alright, so once you have made your animation, uh, mine's pretty simple, it's just an expanding ball. I'll show it to you, at, I've showed, already shown it to you in the beginning. But once you've created it, each layer being a frame, you're going to want to export as. Now, you're going to want to uh, name it, whatever you want to name your animation. And then you're going to do uh, .gif instead of .png. Now hit export and it will give you some options for uh, GIFs. Yes, replace it. So it will give you some options. And you're going to want to click on as animation. Now uh, I would recommend setting it to loop forever if you want to. However, it might look bad if it's an animation that doesn't repeat. So if you didn't really uh, make it repeat, then it might look bad. So you can choose loop forever. Now to choose your f milliseconds. So by default, it does 100 milliseconds, which is 10 frames per second. However, uh, in order to figure out what frame rate, take uh, 1,000 for one second or 1,000 milliseconds, and then divide it by the amount of frames you want per second. Now I'm going to do 24, because that's standard cinema. So now it will give you the amount of uh, milliseconds. So 41.6666. Or uh, you can also do... It does make you uh, make you round to the nearest tenth. So I'm just going to do 40. So it will be a little bit slower. Now for frame disposal, where unspecified, uh, put one frame per layer. And then uh, hit export. And this might take quite a bit to export. Once it's done exporting, we're done. Now we can open it up, and as you can see, we have an epic animation right here with the expanding ball. So it's pretty easy to make an animation with GIMP, which is nice. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do, although it can be pretty repetitive because you have to complete, uh, continually keep adding frames and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.